Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hi, great to see you all today. How are you doing, John? Art, doing very well. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Hey, Art, um, I understand that we had a friend hmm. that passed away recently, yeah. um, Vince McCullough, who was a mentor, teacher, a Taiji for you, as well as a good friend of Celebrating Act 2. Yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, he had, uh, in fact, we had just uh, celebrated practicing Tai Chi at the beach on Sunday mornings. He went five, six days a week uh, and almost every Sunday, and I joined him. Uh, How uh, old was he? He had just turned 90. Wow. And uh, although he was in uh, a, a bit of failing health, he still led us uh, for that. And uh, then about uh, three or four weeks later, earlier, uh, this month of June, uh, he did pass, and uh, as the word started getting out uh, to hundreds and thousands of his former students who all loved sure. him, uh, as I did, yeah. uh, it's been quite an outpouring, and we're all going to get together uh, quite uh, in a couple of weeks on a Sunday morning, appropriate. To at the beach, I hope. At and, the beach. And at, do and Tai Chi in his name. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so we'll probably practice for about an hour all his favorite routines, and then... Yeah. Uh, give him a final Tai Chi salute. And of course he lives with us all the time yeah. because uh, he, he, he was the quintessential second act. Uh, he really was, wasn't he? I mean, not, 90 years old. Now I met him, you had been practicing Tai Chi with him for five or 10 years, as I recall. By that, yeah, and I met him better. when we started celebrating act two and I did that video about his Tai Chi class, which had a couple of hundred people in it. Well, I call it a second act. In actuality, he uh, he taught uh, kinesiology, which is what they now call phys ed, uh, for 60 oh. years at uh, uh, Sadovac College. He was an assistant football coach. Uh, and about 50 years ago, talking about six, second acts, or 45 years ago, uh, he saw this kid sitting on the grass with long hair, practicing something that turned out to be yoga. And he thought that might be a good thing to help train his football players on how to relax right. and get in the moment. Yeah. And uh, he taught that, he learned how to teach that and taught that at the college. And then a couple of years later, he picked up Tai Chi because it was basically all the things he wanted uh, to get out of uh, uh, self-awareness and what have you. Uh, but it didn't involve all the stretching and moving and uh, for some guys were very uncomfortable positions. Uh, and so he started with the Tai Chi and uh, be, became an expert at it as he, of all things. And that was his, basically his, uh, his class of choice for the last 30, 40 years. Yeah. I, I was fortunate to meet him about uh, well, he, a dozen years ago. When, we, when I met him, um, he was, if I recall, 85, 84 or 85. Right. So that's about six years ago. Yep. Um, and he was spry as a spry as a 50 year old. Yeah. <laughs> now, if you're if you're under 50, you don't think of 50 year olds as being spry. But when you're our age, you look back and say, boy, I sure wish I had that spryness of being a 50 year old. But he was 80 something and teaching Tai Chi to everybody, and just a great attitude, great love of life, um, and what a wonderful, inspirational story for people over 50. Yeah, kind uh, of interesting about him is that uh, he really did, he did live the lifestyle. I remember he had a knee replacement, and uh, he was only out for about four weeks. Really? <laughs> he was in such good shape that as soon as his age, everything's yeah. set, uh, he he was back teaching maybe six or seven weeks uh, after that. Helped a lot of people, uh, basically readjust the way they they moved, uh, and helped uh, uh, alleviate uh, pain in at least a half a dozen people that I know intimately know their stories. Yeah, uh, and th that's why they actually came to him in the first place. But but they but they loved him because he cared about people. He had a he had a, this. Uh, 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 saying uh, a class, uh, he'd get in a very serious mood and he'd say, and I want you to know something. 
you are my very favorite class. Yeah. And of course, it <laughs> sounded like a line and everybody knew it was semi-aligned. But the yeah. truth of the matter is that he was so in the moment that the people he was with, he was so committed to, it was actually 100% true. In other words, it sounded funny and he knew it sounded funny. Right. But uh, the truth was that he was so involved. And that was really the magic of Vince. Yeah. Uh, and by the way, he has a, a, a uh, we're not going to go into today here, uh, although in the link below, uh, I think uh, we, sh we shot a video of him teaching an emeritus class for people 50 and over, right. uh, in which he uh, uh, described to you what Taiji was all about. And then also uh, in 2013, I had the opportunity uh, to do an interview with him and do something which is almost an hour in length, but uh, we call it Gupa, which was his name that his grandkids gave him. It was a combination of guru and grandpa. Oh, Gupa. 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 Yeah. And uh, it's a story of, if you've ever been in love with a teacher who's really affected you, yeah. uh, it doesn't matter what they taught you or what those circumstances, this movie will show you why this guy was like this amazing teacher and mentor. Right. Uh, and included being a high school football star, college football star at Occidental College. Uh, he got bored, so he enlisted and uh, into the army, went to, into the Korean War, came back, uh, finished college, uh, married uh, the uh, head cheerleader uh, to whom he was still married, uh, Leah, uh, we're friends, uh, his wife Leah. They were married about... Um, uh, I don't know, 50 some odd years, 60 years. Uh, and she teaches yoga and, and chair exercises right. as well. Uh, qu quite a, a duo. But it, a great story. it talks about it, it talks about his life story. So uh, yeah. any teacher you've ever had that you really loved, this is Vince McCullough to me and uh, both as a teacher and a friend. Yeah, he's a great guy. We're going to miss him. Everybody, well, thousands of people are his former students and current students. Yeah. Of course, they're going to miss him. But even those of us who only met him on Celebrating Act Two um, and know him through these videos uh, will appreciate his attitude. And it's hard to believe how old he is when you watch these videos. Right. Um, but the wonderful thing I think about videos is that he can live forever uh, with us uh, on the videos that we did for Celebrating Act Two. Yeah. So I hope everybody gets to watch them. I hope you look at them. Um, you don't have to have met Vince in person to appreciate him. And I think, um, I think he's, a, he's worth the tribute because he just lived an inspirational life. Yep. Uh, thanks for the opportunity to bring it up uh, uh, for us to speak about. And I hope you all will enjoy it as well. And uh, as uh, he would uh, say, just keep reinventing yourself. Keep enjoying life. Keep being in, that, in the moment and uh, always improving. That was Vince. Uh, yeah. That, that's yeah. what we hope that we are most of the time and that we should all be. Just keep getting the most out of life. Yes, keep celebrating your second act. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.